the the questions that I research, right, and um, that are hopefully within reach, right, which, for example, is how does having the wrong chromosome number give you cancer, or why are cells the size that they are? How did we evolve to have mitochondria in, in our cells? Things like this. So these are the questions that I'm obviously tackling and I'm excited about. But there are much bigger questions, right, such as Let's find life on other planets. Let's evolve life on other planets. How did life start? How did life start to begin with? And those are sort of amazingly important questions that the next generations of scientists must solve and hope and they will. And you all young people should be part of it. The next important step is that, so now that we understand how having the wrong chromosome number affects normal cells, we now really need to understand how it contributes to cancer and how it promotes uh, aggressive disease. And that's really the focus of my lab right now. And uh, we're starting to learn good, interesting things, so I'm excited. I have great hope for immunotherapy, I have to say. I think um, people are starting to understand that our immune system has the ability to recognize and eliminate cancer cells, but at some point, these cancer cells become immune to this. They find ways sneaking around, around uh, that immune attack. And I think we're starting to learn a lot about how that happens, and once we can prevent this, I think we will have a tremendous chance of beating that disease. And as I said to you, I think uh, we've already made tremendous progress already with many of them, but I think there's a lot of promise in the, f in the near future. Mm -hmm.